I would like to offer my American friends just a little peek into the future of what kind of hell has just been wrought on you, as we're going to talk a little bit about Justin Trudeau. As if I didn't get my fill of him yesterday, uh, Trudeau announces carbon tax to increase 40 cents per liter extra at the gas pumps by 2030. Yeah, uh, he said that the t- t- carbon tax would be no more than $50 per, t- per ton, however the fuck you whatever want to call that but now it's going to be over a hundred dollars per ton because reasons yeah exactly prime minister justin trudeau announced that his government will be increasing the price on pollution by 15 dollars per ton uh, per year at a press conference on friday joined by ministers jonathan wilkinson stephen frenchman and kathleen and catherine mckenna who we will get to just after this too because she had some more great information prices will continue to increase every year starting in 2022 until the carbon reaches 170 dollars per ton in 2030 but don't worry we can vote for The opposition party, our very strong and authoritative right-wing conservative party. Oh, that's right. He's going to push through Bill C-19 and uh, do away with any kind of free and fair elections. So that's cool. We can look forward to overpaying at the gas pumps. With this, and not just the gas pumps, by the way, that'll be everywhere, furthering to cripple the economy and making everybody dependent on the government. So this is a wonderful world. Um, Yep, stock up. Stock up, guys. Just stock up on things. With this plan, Canadians will exceed our 2030 greenhouse gas emissions targets under the Paris Agreement. We will establish the building blocks to establish net zero by 2050. Where have I heard that before? And we will create long-term and sustainable communities in every region of this country, said Environment Minister Faggot. Additional investments are expected to come, said Wilkinson, including investments in the rebate program for zero emission vehicles. Yeah, sure. So everybody can go ahead and buy new electric vehicles that, you know what, mining for those materials is more harmful to the environment. But you know what? They don't care about that. They just want you to buy some new stuff that gets subsidized by the government and it will all just eventually become communistic because that's what they want. They want ultimate power. And you know what? It doesn't even matter if you buy gas or anything or, you know, you work in the oil and gas section sector in, well, any of the Western productive provinces because uh, Toronto or Trudeau's deputy prime minister says she wants to unlock Canadian savings accounts. What does that mean? Liberal liberal finance minister Christine Freeland announced that she is interested in ideas of how to unlock Canadian savings accounts and says that they will pay their fair share. Here comes a wealth tax, people. Here comes a wealth tax. And you guys can probably look forward to that too in the States. Don't worry about it. We'll be uh, fair to share our ideas as we all build back better. In a now viral clip shared by conservative MP Pierre Paul Levier, a good man actually, but um, he's fighting a losing cause in this communistic socialist hellhole. Liberal finance minister Christine Freeland announced that she is interesting in ideas in how to unlock Canadian savings accounts and make sure that they pay their fair share. Folks, lock away your money. Liberals aren't worried. You're saving too much. They want ideas of how the government can act to unlock those savings. No, Trudeau, people's savings don't belong to you, according to Mr. Pierre. Yeah, but... um. It doesn't matter. He's going to have a super majority the next time he calls a snap election after he passes Bill C- C-19 and 90 days after that because that's when he'll call a snap election. Don't worry about it. Freeland opined in the interview with Bloomberg <laughs> that Canadians managed to save some money during the COVID-19 pandemic due to a lack of ability to travel or spend leisurely. But we want our taste because, God damn it, you aren't contributing to those ancillary industries. And, uh, yeah. We couldn't tax you with the gas pumps because you are all staying at home like we told you to because we should be in deathly fear of a virus that has a 99.98% chance of survivability and uh, only when you turn fucking 93 years old do you have a 2% chance of fucking keeling over but that doesn't matter because they're coming for your money. Maybe it appears by itself that's the best case scenario for me, but if people have ideas how we can really try to unleash that, and particularly unleash it in the parts of the economy that really need to spend, tourism, hospitality, domestic services, let me know, said Freelancy. You're not using it, but hey, they're still going to get their fair share. doesn't matter. They
they just said, you know, uh, savings accounts and anybody who has even a little bit of money stored away. I have a little bit of money stored away in order to make this fucking channel successful, but uh, they want to get a hold of my money. So, you know what? I just want to make sure that I am living up to my standard as a Canadian citizen and I'm doing my part. So I welcome, I welcome the government overreach. <sighs> The Trudeau government just announced last week that it's going to be adding $400 billion in the national debt because whatever, we can just print more money, right? Critics argue that Canada does not have the capacity to deal with such sizable debt increase and they were told to shut up because the CCP said that they'd be looking after any of their claims because Trudeau admits winter warfare training of Chinese military did happen. You know when I reported that he threw a hissy fit that it wasn't going to happen? Well, actually, long story short, uh, it did happen. Yesterday, the Rebel Media published those, well, okay, yesterday, so this news came out yesterday. And they're talking about those China files are reported on the day before that. So get my timelines mixed up. I've been talking a lot about Trudeau lately, and I will be a lot more in the future as we descend into socialist madness. 34 pages of the military secret detailings how the Canadian Armed Forces have been training with China's People's Liberation Army. You can see for yourself at the ChinaFiles.com. That's cool. These documents show that Trudeau conducted 18 different military projects with China in 2019. Ah, but then the CAF wanted to cancel a winter warfare training session with the People's Liberation Army scheduled for CFB Petawawa in Ontario, warning that it risked a knowledge transfer to the Chinese. It doesn't matter because we're all friends here. We're all working to build back better. Sorry, that's the second time I've used that. I'm just a little on tilt right now, guys. This enraged Trudeau who ordered the CAF not to... I wonder how actually mad he could get, like, um... Does he, I don't know, start emitting soy from his pores and, I don't know, jism from his wife's boyfriend just immediately starts to congeal under his little soy beard? I don't know. I'm just spitballing ideas here, folks. In question period today, Trudeau's defense minister, Harjit Sajan, tried to take credit for the cancellation of the session, bizarrely blaming it on Stephen Harper? What? These trainings were taking part in 2019. Stephen Harper has been out of office since 2014, for fuck's sakes. That is a lie, of course. The China files clearly show the liberals, yeah, did everything to keep the PLA training on track. But just minutes ago, we learned of the shocking development. Trudeau spokesman admitting to Joe Warmington of the Toronto Sun that, in fact, the PLA delegation visited Canada in February of 2018 for, for winter training. You can, yeah... I'd read about it in the Toronto Sun, but I'd rather shit my hands and clap. That's hard to believe, but the Canadian Prime Minister really did teach Chinese troops our winter warfare secrets and keep kept it hidden from Canadians. But we didn't need to know that. All we need to do is just continue to pay up and just listen to our overlords because boy, doesn't he have nice hair or doesn't that uh, Millennium Falcon on his fucking bookshelf just make him so endearing to the public? Thanks, Ontario. Thanks, Quebec, for voting for this little faggot. And now that the U.S. election is, for all intents and purposes, called, I will be focusing my eye squarely on the CCP and on Justin Trudeau because they are the biggest and most egregious actors in the global socialization of this fucking world, I guess. I don't know. A uh, lot of information here today. Need to process it all. I am going to go and do something fun with my time now and... Uh, Hope you all, you guys all do the same. I'll be back here tomorrow with uh, some more breakdown, probably of the election, and I'm sure Justin Trudeau will do something fucking retarded in the meantime. So enjoy your Friday evening, and definitely enjoy your weekend, and we'll catch you all tomorrow, guys. I thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.